I have a small accessory carabiner here, part of my water bottle system, that is broken. In this video I'll explain what's wrong with it, what caused this to go wrong, and I'm gonna fix it. Repair will take 30 seconds, minimal tools and skills. So let's take it from the top. What is wrong with this? It doesn't look deformed, or the yours might be bent. Does not look defective, obviously. However, if you look closely at the base of the gate here, a small piece of metal is sticking out that shouldn't be sticking out like so. If I compare it to an intact carabiner, a bigger one, you can find the same idea. There's a flat piece of metal there inside the gate. However, this flat piece of metal should be behind this shoulder that's formed here on the carabiner's body. See, so the body and the gate are riveted together there's this flat piece of metal and a spring. The flat piece of metal rests against that shoulder and compresses the spring. Now, it compressed, now it's compressed even more and that spring as it extends closes the gate and that flat, flat piece of metal should be against this shoulder here that's formed at the rivet here where the body and the gate meet. I hope that makes sense. So repair is fairly straightforward. This piece of metal needs to be advanced enough forward to snap back or jump back into place, compressing the spring inside this gate as it goes along. What caused it is fairly straightforward. This carabiner is uh, flimsy. It's an accessory carabiner. If the gate is open past the carabiner's spine here, in this direction for whatever reason this push plate here can uh, jump out of position it can happen with inexpensive cheap carabiners I've never seen it on a professional branded and weight rated carabiner I've never seen this happen because the gate is sturdy enough unless the carabiner is of course bent out of shape then the same geometric uh, result can come about. So, either with the tip of the nail, if the spring can be compressed enough and it doesn't slip off the tip of the nail, this can be pushed forward. That's not always the case, so sometimes I use the head of a nail in this configuration. So using the nail head. I know there's not a lot to see because I kind of need to have my hand and fingers in the way so you can see that this nail head can compress or compress the spring and push that plate forward and at this point it needs to be rotated into place. Now this may need, because that spring is bouncy, this may need a secure placement somewhere so this featureless tabletop may not be the best surface and it may need a little tapping like this to compress the spring and try to force the push plate behind that shoulder so 30 seconds of repair time yeah in theory once you figure out how that little push plate can be actually advanced forward thereabouts okay there it jumped back in place there fully functional and of course it can be made dysfunctional again with excessive twisting and uh, it's really easy to overwhelm this little carabiner so in this case uh, I guess I didn't need the hammer and that push plate is doesn't look quite secure so I might want to advance it a little further down and in just without bending it just see what happens if it goes forward anymore or well I didn't make it worse but it doesn't look um, superbly secure either hey this is an accessory carabiner and it's really just for holding a water bottle uh, clipped onto your gear. Yes, I could use a decent one, uh, but it's 
just sometimes too big or too heavy. And of course, if you can't open this with a gloved hand, whatever, just use a big one, a decent one. But anyhow, so that's what causes the problems, and that's how you can fix it if you are really attached to your accessory carabiner fairly fast and inexpensive repair.